Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on anubavtrainings.com. In this video session, we will learn how to create a very simple package and a calculation view. This video is part of a series of three videos where we are learning about creating delivery unit, creating calculation view in Access Classic, and then migrating this classic calculation view to Access Advanced. So let's get started. This is our second video. If you've not watched the last two videos, please check the description of the video or you can check my HANA Access Advanced playlist. Let me switch it over to the system. And what I've got here is my user. And let me create a new package now. So we create a new package and we can say P underscore Anubo. And now what I'll choose is our delivery unit which we created in the last video. Click on OK. And it's time that we start consuming objects and create calculation view. Since later on, I will be moving these objects to Access Advanced, I'm only going to use the objects which are only available in Access Advanced because Access Advanced doesn't have the concepts of attribute, analytic, and, and also the decision tables. All three concepts have been completely deprecated by SAP. So we will not be using any more the attribute and analytic views. So let's create a new calculation view. And here is where we can just say CV underscore. First, I'm creating a dimension view, which is just going to expose the data about uh, airlines and flights. You can say calculation view flight. And now choose it as a dimension view. Finish. And now here we can build our classic view so what I'll do is I'll just expose here two projections the first projection I will take the table which is SKR from my schema and the second projection I will take the table SPFLI the flight table and now I will connect them through a join. Now all this what we are doing in Access Classic is deprecated completely with Access Advanced. Our goal is to just uh, quickly rush through this, complete this and then probably migrate this to Access Advanced. That's our goal. So I'm just exposing these fields out. And then we will perform the join. Let me maximize by double clicking or you can use shortcut control M in Eclipse. And let's create the necessary join. Superb. Let's expose the data from the join to the projection. All right, let's activate our view. You can check the activation log at the bottom. And it's completed with error. Let's investigate the error. Okay, I have an authorization issue for the current user to be able to store the model inside the SysBig schema. So of course, I have to go back as a system user and also grant my user the required role and authorization to be able to develop the calculation view so let me just go ahead and do that I already have logged in as a system user I would navigate to the security and of course to my user Anubo and here is where I will now grant the necessary authorization for Anubo to be able to create views inside the schema so as you all know, the runtime object of a calculation view gets created in SysBig schema. It's important that we go back and grant the SysBig schema related authorization to our user. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can see this is the standard SysBig schema and I'll say, please allow me to create objects inside SysBig. Allow me to delete. Of course, I'm not going to use any delete or insert, but still on a safer side, I just grant the necessary authorization on SysPIC schema to my to my user 
Additionally, I would also add uh, two system privileges. One is uh, called uh, repo read, catalog read, and another is called data admin. And then additionally, finally, an analytic privilege we will also grant is called sysbicp all. Uh, these are all some of the authorizations which are kind of required authorization for anyone who would like to do modeling in HANA. All right, let's save this up. Uh, we just adopt our user and make the change on the user as a as a system user, of course. Uh, so system user now granted the necessary authorization to my my own user. And now what I can do is go back as my own user Anubo and try to uh, activate this calculation view. So let's go back to the lo log out here. It was failing last time. Now I'm going to right click and just say um, activate or just activate here. And voila, you can see it got activated this time. Everything was good. And we can also see the generated SQL statement uh, to create the runtime object. So now it's time to do a data preview on the view. Let's go ahead and do that. So I click on the data preview and we can go to the raw data. Voila, you can see all my data is coming up. So all the necessary authorizations are all so much in control for the user and user is able to access the data now in the system. Now, as part of our next step, what we're going to do is we will go back and create a cube type of calculation view. A cube type of calculation view will have a measure as well, and it's gonna use one of the transactional table. And what we are going to do there is we will be using one of our, um, this, this particular dimension view as part of the cube view. So let me go ahead and define now, uh, uh, define now a new cube type of calculation view and use this particular view. So I will switch over back to our catalog and over here we will create another calculation view new view and we say CV bookings and now it's going to be graphical cube type view with the star join I would want finish and now I will just add here my projection coming from my transaction table so i will be using one of the transaction table as as book table remember you should have necessary authorization to also fire select on to the schema where your tables are and i would want to expose mandate client con id flight date booking id customer type weight class currency paid how much amount they paid for the booking which was the agency from where it was booked and yeah now we want these properties to output you can just drag and connect the node and here we will add our join so now it's time that we drag and drop our flight view which is the dimension view here and let's create the join condition so of course it's based on the mandate and care ID and con ID. So let's do that. Perfect. Let's choose the joint type. One is to one. And save this. Let me just activate this before that let's choose the columns to be in the output as let's say flight date to all these properties you can just go back and check semantics and make sure our properties are correctly marked for the dimensions and measures so I'll just select all the properties and mark them as dimension except the integer ones which is this currency and luggage weight are my measures. Let's save this and activate. Activated. Let's go back and check the data preview for this view as well. So this is our queue view. And oops, we have an issue with privilege. So what you just have to do is go to semantics view properties and just change here the 
SQL privilege as classical analytic privilege and client as cross client. So now let's go and preview the data. Okay, again, we are having an issue. I guess we have to go back and change it to SQL analytic privilege. And you can see our data comes up. Nice. So that's our calculation view, which is of type cube. Now, what we are going to do here is we can also do a quick analysis on this view. So let me just drag and drop my airline, airline names maybe. I would like to see which airline have how many bookings at this given point of time. So you can see as of now, Singapore Airlines has highest number of bookings for us in the in the complete business. You can also change the chart types here. These are all built-in analytics which are available with the with the HANA. And maybe I would like to see which airline is currently carrying the highest luggages. So as expected, since this has highest number of bookings, equivalently this is also of course carrying the highest number of uh, number of this uh, luggages. So maybe we can see city-wise which city uh, from where most of the luggages are being carried it's the frankfurt from where most of the luggages are being carried and we will also add city two. then you can see maybe you would like to see it as a stack vertical stack chart with both the dimensions in place yeah so let's try and check this out so now you can see from city from and city two and different luggages uh, with respect to each of the city here is where we can check this information that's cool right you can see a combined line and bar chart there are a lot of things which you can do here when it comes to uh, comes to hana for these analytics so at this point i think we are done with building our models inside of our packages with required authorizations and now in the next step what i'm going to do is uh, i will export this delivery unit and then we will see how to migrate these calculation views as part of our uh, HANA Access Advanced project. So hope you enjoyed this session. Feel free to give a thumbs up and share this video with your colleagues if they are also facing issues building views in Classic. Of course, this is an old way of doing stuff, but better way is doing Access Advanced with Web IDE tool. For complete detailed training on HANA and Access Advanced, feel free to subscribe our training on anubautrainings.com. With that, thank you so much and see you in the next video.